dear friends in Christ, all of us make prayers and we wait in expectation for the fulfillment of that prayer because we are sure that the Lord will answer today or tomorrow, sooner or later. Advent is a season of expectation and we are in expectation, but let us also remember that all forms of life are also in expectation. The God visits us through all forms of life that he has created and we are the custodians of his creation. We are given the strong warning of the global crisis we face and the need to protect the world upon which we rely for life. The rising global temperature needs an immediate intervention. How do we travel, the air we breathe, the water we drink, the instability of the earth and the water are matters of grave concerns today. And Christmas speaks of a God who revered his creation and the created, of a God who entrusted the stewardship of his creatures to humanity to protect and to promote the life of everything that God brought into life, so that we may have life and also all living beings' life is safeguarded. The climate change that we witness today is largely man-made. The environmental destruction has reached an irreversible stage. We are called to awaken ourselves to a renewed sense of shared responsibility for our world so that we do not have to witness the degradation of our common home, the planet. The destruction of planet has its roots right from the very nature of family celebrations, global gatherings. There's a lack of owning the earth as our own. Every crisis calls for a vision to rethink the future of the world, says Pope Francis, urging radical decisions and a renewed sense of shared responsibility for our world today. The most important lesson we can make from this crisis is our need to build together so that there will be no longer any borders barriers or political walls for us to hide behind. Every crisis comes with opportunities to serve friends. The Pope invites everyone to live this season of hope and preparation with great sobriety. How should we react to all this? The Psalm recommends to us, Our soul awaits the Lord. He is our help and our shield. It is in him that our hearts rejoice. Advent is an incessant call to hope and action. God acted upon humanity's downfall. The humanity is put on hold today so that it begins the process of redeeming the planet, the common platform for survival. The Lord is near to us through the heartbeat of the planet God knocking at the door of our very conscience, but we let him pass on by. We ignore, we ignore his voice calling us to and wait for a God of our imagination to come. Rainer Maria Rike says, If we surrendered to earth's intelligence, we could rise up rooted like trees. Let us therefore stop judging the day by the harvest we reap, but by the seeds we plant. Let the beauty of this world purify our minds and love the nature as ourselves and so we can truly care for all things. So that the poetry of the earth never dies and let us welcome the Son of God, feeling the grace of the wind on our faces and the warmth of the sun on our hands, because nature is the art of God. It is the handiwork of God. It is a gospel of goodness. In our desire for having more and known for more, let us remember that the most beautiful things are not associated with money. They are memories and moments created to be eternal. From spring's hopeful new blooms and false exquisite array of colors to winter's magic and summer's energy, 
Each season abounds with different types of natural beauty to explore and admire. Any harm done to its natural flow and bloom becomes a damage done to its original purpose. May we have the grace to honor the Creator God for the beauty of created things in different forms, shades and colors. For the enchanting nature's beauty, for the lush meadows full of brilliantly colored flowers or the dense forests with the sky high trees. May we never forget that the earth delights to feel our bare feet and the winds long to play with our hair. May we cherish the wise saying of John Burgess that I go to nature to be soothed and healed and to have my senses put in order.